welcome to The Proof, where we embark on a journey to uncover the truth amidst the labyrinth of misinformation. Today, our investigative lens focuses on the heart of Nigeria's Delta State, where recent events have thrust a community into the spotlight of uncertainty and fear. The chilling tale began with the death of 17 Nigerian soldiers in the tranquil enclave of Okwama, shattering the serenity of its surroundings. As whispers of military reprisals echoed through the region, a viral video emerged purportedly capturing the flames of vengeance engulfing the land. But in the dance between fact and fiction, the truth often lies veiled beneath layers of deceit. We look to uncover the truth after the break. Stay with us. Joining me on today's quest for clarity is Catherine Adeniyi, a junior researcher at Africa Check. Thank you for joining me, Catherine. It's my pleasure, Dashen. Thank you for having me. Let's take viewers through the circumstances surrounding the event. Certainly, the killing in Okwama community in Delta State garnered a lot of attention nationwide as the state is located in the South South region of the country where most of Nigeria's oil is produced. The Nigerian Hami said the soldiers who were murdered were on a peaceful uh, military mission in Okwama and Okoloba communities in the state. However, the incident has raised concerns about potential military reprisals and the safety of civilians in that region. Now, turning our attention to the viral video circulating on social media, purportedly showing army retaliation against the community. Where is this video being shared? How is it being spread? The video was shared on Facebook and it was also circulated on Facebook by other users. However, there are possibilities of it being shared on other social media platforms like WhatsApp and you know it's maybe hard to track on WhatsApp due to the end-to-end -end encryption feature on that platform. How did Africa Check approach the verification of this video? What were your key findings? Our verification process involves thorough fact checking and analyzing key frames in the video um, using Google Reverse Image Search to assess the authenticity of the video. Now, we found that, that the video predated the mother of soldiers in Delta State as it had originally been shared online on TikTok in January and it depicted a fire outbreak at Nembe Waterfront in River State. That's quite intriguing. This is a good place to take a break, by the way, Catherine. While we return, let's look at the content of the video and the coverage of the claims made in the video. Stay tuned. Those people that used to say, um, bring money and you collect extra, like that, that's actually a scam. Like oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. To celebrate the 2024th International Fact Checking Day, we're house to ask individuals on that one information they thought was true but turned out to be false. Let's go. One form of uh, false information is during the Ebola crisis. Information going around that period was that uh, if you bait with salt, it will clear Ebola. But later on, we find out that uh, salt doesn't clear Ebola. I think on my WhatsApp, so I saw a message saying that MC are going, they are sharing free data. So when I click on it, I saw some data like 20 gig, 30 gig. So they told me to click on it and I will share it to people. But when I found out, I found out that it was just false. Basically about the um, Canadian visas where uh, and information is being put out that someone is recruiting for jobs and in the getting the jobs, you can also have a visa. But in the long run, you find out that it's not true. And at the end, we end up stranded on the way. On the Oprah Mini app, it pop up that uh, Tunungu is giving out uh, 15,000 to 36 million people in Nigeria. So oh, really? I have to click it. They, they ask me so, of some information about myself, which I actually provided. But I, after some times, uh, I discovered that it was not uh, true. 
So some of those things normally happen like that. Maybe some some people use it to scam people, actually, getting their information, some BVN and all those things. Uh, uh. This is the proof powered by Africa Check. We're looking into the aftermath of the Okwama killings. Now, after the tragedy, a video made the rounds and went viral with claims that it showed reprisal attacks on the Okwama community because of the soldiers' deaths. With me is Catherine Adeni, junior researcher at Africa Check. Catherine, could you elaborate on the content of the viral video and how it diverges from the events in Delta State? Of course. Closely examining the video, there is a male voice narrating the scene that unfolds and it is a scene of an explosion and the voice in the video is speaking in Pigeon English. The unknown person attributed the fire outbreak um, to the presence of fuel and stated it was a regular occurrence. This guy told us he good. He good. He good. This guy good. Catherine, given the gravity of the situation, one would expect credible news organizations to report on such events. Yet, there seems to be a lack of such coverage. Now, what implications does this absence have in validating the viral video claims? Indeed, one would expect to see reports from credible news outlets if there was a retaliation by the Nigerian army, especially given the coverage the issue has received. However, the absence of any report from reputable sources on this raises a lot of questions about the authenticity of the video and it shows the importance of relying on credible sources for accurate information. Thank you for highlighting that aspect. In light of your findings, what advice would you offer the public regarding discerning truth from misinformation in such situations? The public must exercise critical thinking and rely on reputable sources for accurate information, especially in times of uncertainty. Ask fact-checking organizations like Africa Check to verify claims when you're unable to do so by yourself, and also refrain from spreading false information and unverified claims on social media. We can combat this information and uphold the truth by staying informed and vigilant. Thank you once again, Catherine, for your invaluable insights and expertise. And to our viewers, remember to stay informed and discerning amidst the deluge of information. If you have comments or a claim you want us to fact check, tweet at africacheck underscore ng. Follow News Central on our social media platforms. We are at News Central TV. And you can check out our website. It's www.newscentral.africa. Stay informed, stay vigilant. Until next time, I'm Darshan Usman, signing out.